kitchen. Well, good morning, lovely people of Eastwick. And welcome to another perfect day in our perfect little town. This is Eastwick Knows, and you are watching with your hosts, Brenda Parsley, Rebecca willis Afferson, and me, Greta Neff. This is the show to come to for all the juiciest Eastwick gossip. I mean, news. Important news. We'll be telling you all about the upcoming events in Eastwick. Don't forget about the Egret Benefit, hosted of course by our First Lady of Eastwick, Felicia Gabriel. Woo! We'll be talking to Mabel Ogden of the Marching Mables, our very own walking club who are striding ahead of the rest. And we'll be finding out how to make Mrs. Buttercup's perfect cherry trifle, just in time for the great Eastwick Bake Off next week. Eastwick Knows! Now, as usual, we're starting our show off with our favorite feature, Dirty Laundry! <laughs> now, today I have a real humdinger of a story. It's shocking, it's scandalous, and it could change life as we know it. Brenda, I believe you have all the details. Well, ladies, you won't believe it. I was talking to Marge Purley, you know, from Purley Real Estate, oh. and she happened to sell a certain property. You guess right, the Lennox Estate. Shocking. Well, you wouldn't expect any old person to move into the Lennox estate. No, you wouldn't, Greta. And rumors are that no one knows where this mysterious purchaser, this Mr. Daryl Van Horn, has come from. It's just as if he magically appeared here after that storm that hit the other night. Yeah. Well, Gina Marino said he showed up at that big concert the other night and told Felicia Gabriel and her precious egrets to take a long walk of a short cliff. Oh, no! You don't say anything like that to Felicia Gabriel. And not about the egrets. She's very passionate about those little birds. Well, it sounds like he's got a fight in his hands, challenging the Felicia Gabriel. Well, if it's a fight he wants, he definitely won round one. <laughs> and no one has ever done that before. There's definitely something suspicious about this one. Yes, I feel something dreadfully wrong in my bones. Ever since he arrived in town, people have been acting very peculiar. Well, you haven't even heard the best part. You know those three women, the lonely single ones? Alex, Jane, and Sookie? Well, rumor has it they've been spending a lot of time with our Mr. Van Horn. Oh, I saw them coming out of the Lennox estate. They looked very suspicious. Who knows what terrible and sinister things are happening behind those gates? Well, ladies, it's none of our business. But as the Reverend's wife, I make it my business to know exactly what's going on. So on this special occasion, I've got my good friend Gina Marino to do a bit of digging. <gasps> Hello ladies, this is Gina Marino bringing you the word from the street, direct from the street. I'm here at Alex Spofford's house to get some answers about the new mystery Lennox resident. Alex, can you confirm what really goes on behind closed doors? Oh, you know, a little casual tennis. Nothing you need to worry about. But you've been spending an awful lot of time there. And you've been spending your an awful lot of time poking your nose into things that don't concern you. Jane Smart! Jesus! Can you tell me about your involvement with Daryl Van Horn? Uh, he's giving me music lessons. I heard you were already an excellent cello player. Oh, he has a new way of seeing things. He's a, a very intriguing man. Lovely little Suki. Now, tell your friend Jean the truth now, won't you? I, I, I'm, I, I'm actually very busy. <laughs> I heard you've been involved with Mr. Daryl Van Horn, the newest member of Eastwick. Well, <laughs> You know, uh, it, it, well, in a way, uh, well, well, no, um, you know, you know, there's actually nothing to tell. He's well and truly got you under his spell now, hasn't he? Well, that's one way of putting it, but uh, I'm sorry, Gina, I'm very busy. Well, that answered a lot of questions. And now we are joined by a very special guest in the studio on this topic, the First Lady of Eastwick, Felicia Gabriel. <laughs> Hello, ladies, and hello, people of Eastwick. And thank you for inviting me here to discuss this very pressing and urgent matter. So, Felicia, Randa, let me just stop you there. People of Eastwick, my people of Eastwick, I believe there is a genuine cause for concern here. We cannot allow a new resident such as this who will bring nothing but chaos to the pleasant status quo we have enjoyed here in our perfect little town. So what are you going to do, Felicia? Well, I will not stand for it. 
he has made himself one very powerful enemy. And if he thinks for one second that I will let him bring disgrace and scandal to this town, and certainly not chase away the egrets. Citizens of Eastwick, there is something not quite right about this man. And I, Felicia Gabriel, will not let this newcomer, this man, I will not rest until he is... Speak of the devil, and up he pops. Uh, 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 Mr. Redhorn, oh, Mr. Redhorn, welcome if you to our just humble what you're doing here, I'm how so you wonderful to have you here. Oh, no, just... Relax, ladies, relax. Now, what exactly are we all concerned about? Go on, spit it out. Mr. Van Horn, you do realize that you are broadcasting live to all the residents of Eastwick. <laughs> oh, am I really? Well, how lovely of you to have me on your quintessential little show. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Van Horn, now that you're here, if, could you explain to the people of Eastwick why you're in town and what your plans are? No. I will do the explaining here. Mr. Van Horn is none other than the de- Oh, 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 Felicia, Felicia. Felicia, has anyone ever told you that you have a beautiful face for radio? Oh, 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 oh. Hello, people of Eastwick. Would you like to hear more of the news? More of this juicy little gossip? Would you like to hear about all the scandals of Eastwick? Brought to you by yours truly? Well, you're just gonna have to wait and see. We're sorry, but this broadcast of Eastwick Knows has been temporarily interrupted. We're experiencing some, uh, unexplained mysterious interference. While you wait for full service to be restored, I've heard some even bigger news on the grapevine. For the full and scandalous story, make sure you book your tickets to see The Witches of Eastwick at the Capitol Theater in Horsham from Tuesday 14th to Saturday 18th of November. Get on the phone to that box office today on 01403-750-220 or visit www.thecapitalhorsham.com. And remember... Eastwick knows.